Hey everybody, how's it going? Lucky Shot 13 here, and welcome back to Sky Factory 3. So yeah, uh, where I left off, we just had a small platform, a couple of trees, etc., etc. And since then, I've done some off-camera work. Um, first and foremost, I got us some more dirt so we can twerk more trees at one time. Oh yeah. Okay. Also, I have expanded our first wooden platform. And also, I built a mob farm as well. So, just a few things here or there. What kind of Enderman? Come here, you. Yes. We got bats. I mean, we got all kinds of stuff. So, we're, we're off to a good start. Also, you can see, I made a mattock, which is a combination of an axe and a shovel, right? As sort of our first tool. So, um, before we get into that any further, I have a couple things here I need to drop off the saplings. From our mob farm, we got two uh, loot bags. We got an uncommon and a common, and I have not looked at them yet, because I wanted to open them on camera with y'all. So, without further ado, let's open up our loot bag. So, in the first one, the uncommon loot bag, we got an iron ingot, yes. We got a cake, hallelujah, and we got a shield. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so that's our... Okay, so that's our first thing. And now in the common loot bag, we got a cookie and a name tag. All right. Okay. So we got some stuff. Definitely going to be able to enjoy that cookie and have the iron. So, um, first, let's get these trees all grown up. There we go. Okay. So let me open the uh, dip tap first up. Where can I? Shoo! Shoo! Stuck in a leaf. Okay, so we have some sticks. We need to make a crook, another crook, and I think it's gonna break, so let me get some. I always. F I still forget how to make them. The wooden shears. So sapling, planks, stick. Okay. So we need a sapling, then we need planks and sticks. Okay, apparently I don't have any planks. Well, how about that be the first thing we do? Let's make some planks, make some more sticks. Okay, just like that, and then, well, boom, wooden shears. Okay. And then we can get some of our stuff. So be back to showing y'all some things. So first, let's use the wooden shears so we get leaves. We still also get um, apples and saplings from it. And then, of course, the crook didn't do much. And then I can show y'all what the mattock can do. Boom. Oh, yeah. So, what I wanted to take some time to do after put some leaves in there. Okay. So, a couple things that I wanted to do was to show y'all, if you're not familiar with modded, if you are familiar with modded, then you already know, and you can ignore this part. If you're new to modded, if this is the first modded series you're watching, or you're thinking about wanting to learn how to play, and you don't think that anyone's ever really taught you any of the basic mechanics, then, oops, sorry about that, then uh, that's what I want to do for y'all. I want to help y'all learn the game a little bit, okay? And saplings are dropping from the sky. So, is what you need to make tools in uh, Tinker's Construct is you'll need basically these these things here, okay? You'll need a stencil table, a crafting station, a tool station, and a part builder, okay? So, let me show you the recipes for those things. So, first you have the stencil table, which is easy. Oh, hit my caps lock. Okay, it's just a blank pattern and some oak wood planks. And a blank pattern, you get four for this. It's two sticks, two planks, okay? Each diagonal from one another. So the sticks are in a diagonal line and the planks are in a diagonal line, okay? So that's your stencil table, okay? Then you have the parts builder. And I have an L there, okay? Then you have the part builder, all right? And that is a blank pattern and an actual piece of wood, not the planks. Okay, an actual piece of wood. All right. Then you have the tool station, 
which is down here, which is a blank pattern and a crafting table or a crafting station. Okay? That's easy, alright? That's some very basic things to make even early on in the game. And the cool part about Tinkers is the fact that you have a lot of additional blocks that you can make tools out of, like what I made the mattock out of. So, let me make some planks. Okay, yeah, we have planks, I have sticks, that kind of thing. Alright, so is what you'll do first is you'll want to take some blank patterns, okay? You'll take these blank patterns and you'll go to the stencil table. You'll open the stencil table up, you'll click what you want, right? So, like, for the shovel head, I clicked on the shovel head, you put a blank pattern there, boom. That's it. That's all you have to do. That's all there is to using the stencil table, okay? Then, and you can see everything's connected, so it all pops up here for me, just interacting with one. Then you have the parts builder. So this is where you take that stencil, right? Like, it says I'm going to actually be making it. So, for example, let's take the, the, uh, the shovel head. And then we take bones. And drop two bones there. And then you'll see it, it pops up here. Right? There's an additional space here. Right? And then you just click it. And then... Yeah, well, let me show you what I'm making first. So I'm going to make another mattock, right? So the mattock is just is a an axe head, a shovel head, and uh, a tool rod. Okay? So that's how you know what all you'll need. Okay, so then let's take the axe head and... Whoops, sorry, I'm back on the stencil table. I need that. Okay, so then you take the axe head, right? And you drop you a couple bones in there, and you take that. And bo bone is just what I'm using. Okay, you don't have to use bones. You can use other things. You can see I can use two sticks or one plank. Okay? Then once you have all your materials, you go to the tool station. Okay, click on the tool you want to make so it changes the crafting design. And then you just, right, drag and drop, just like you're making anything else. And then you can name it up here if you want to, okay? So, this is a uh, choppers, okay? And, uh, yeah. See? And then that's it. That's all you have to do. Okay, so that's that's how you use it. You can see the the fry pan here, you can see battle sign, I mean, you know, you got you got all kinds of things here, you know, arrows, short bows, long swords, broad swords, rapiers, I mean, you have all these different options in here as well, and all the different materials that you can make as well, right? So if you just go, like, at Tinkers, you should... You know, you can pull up all the all the Tinker's recipes and everything like that. Oh, sorry about that. All the Tinker's recipes. And you can see all that, and then you can see all the different ones that you can make. I mean, you're talking about wood, stone, slime, pig iron. I mean, there's a million different things that you can make all these different designs out of. Okay? So that's how you use the, uh, the parts builders and all that to make your tools. Okay? So fairly simple, right? Fairly simple on how to do that. And actually, I have now run out of room. That is amazing. I've managed to run out of room. Ooh. Goodness gracious. Make another... I'll have to make another double. That's okay. It's grayed out because I have something in the search bar. There we go. We can fix that. Yeah, see, anytime you put something in the search bar, it's going to gray it out. Alright. Now we have another double chest. Take our double chest and probably put it down over here somewhere. Mm, I'm not sure yet. Okay, yeah, we're going to fall through there. That's nice. That'll be good for us. We can chuck some stuff in here. Okay, so now we have our backup tools and everything like that. And all of that good jazz. Okay? So, then we have dirt, and where's my hammer? Hammer, 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 hammer. Okay, I don't have a hammer. Okay, I need to make a hammer. Let's make that real quick. Hammer. 
And then, do I have some cobblestone? I do. I have some cobblestone. And some wood chippings. What else? I don't know why I'm looking through the crafting menu at it. Okay. So, you can also take wood chippings, which you get from hitting wood with a hammer, and you can drop those into your composting barrels and make dirt out of them. I don't know what I had in the furnace. I could actually cook up some, uh... some charcoal. Okay. Okay, our dirt is still going. So, of course, we all know about the sieve from last episode, so as what we can do is we can take this, and we can break the cobblestone and turn it into gravel, and then we can sieve the gravel, and you get different drops from this, right? So, you sieve the dirt, and then you get the cobblestone pieces. And see, whenever you sieve the gravel, you get something different. So, I got iron ore pieces, okay? Well, that's something that's useful, right? I did make some charcoal. And if you put charcoal into crafting grid, you get mini charcoal. Okay, and there's an interesting thing about mini charcoal is that it, one mini, you, basically a mini charcoal will do one item at a time. Like, one mini charcoal equals one item. So that's a cool thing about that if you ever need to make, if you ever do need the charcoal. We can actually cook up some silkworms to eat. So yeah, also another interesting little tip there. Um, okay, so is what I'm going to do is take this dirt and keep turning it into cobblestone, and then whenever I am ready to uh, make the um, the cobblestone generator, which is something I want to show y'all uh, how to make on camera, then I will bring y'all back when I'm ready to do that. Okay, so I'm over here just finishing off a uh, couple of mobs that popped in. We got Seth Bling, which can drop redstone. I don't know if he did. Creeper over here. Make sure we kill these bats so we get some bat wings. Okay. So let's come back over here because is what I am waiting on now is I am just waiting on this cobble to cook down into lava. Alright, that's that's all I'm really waiting on. And to uh, cover this up. And this is our crucible platform, so let's make it look nice. Er it still looks tacky, but it's a little bit better. We can drop some stuff off in our chest while we wait. Yeah, okay. So, oh, and then let's replant our saplings real quick. Okay, so again, just to fill everybody in here real quick, so you make a crucible out of porcelain clay. Okay, porcelain clay is easy to make, okay? You just take normal clay and some bone meal and you put them together you get porcelain clay. Alright, you put porcelain clay in a in a U shape and you get a crucible and then all you have to do is cook your crucible in your furnace, put it over a torch and drop some cobblestone in, okay? It's just, it's that simple, right? It's just that simple. Um, you make clay by hammering cobblestone into gravel, gravel into sand, sand in the dust, and then mixing the dust with water. Alright, so again, very straightforward, not a lot to it. Alright, pretty easy to do. We'll grab our other bucket. Um, I'll probably need, yeah I do, I need to make some more cobblestone. So, put our dirt out, just like this. Or excavator. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Oh my gracious, yeah, I just had a dub moment. I'm thinking a cobble. Yeah, we just put our dirt through our sieve here. Duh. Like as soon as I did it, I was like, oh wait, no, we don't, we don't hammer dirt, do we? Okay. So now we have our pieces. Cobble pieces. Okay, now that should be enough. As soon as our lava is done, we are getting close. Go back over and kill some more mobs while we wait. Alright. 
Animal Force. While I've been working and grinding and waiting on some things, I've also been reading some uh, some history stories, some different things. You know, wh one of my favorite things to read about is stuff that is discovered, you know, by accident. Um, and some things that were discovered, you know, mostly by accident, in case you didn't know, was stuff like uh, the microwave oven. Right? It was discovered by a, uh, a scientist working at NASA, I do believe. I think he was working at NASA. It might have been, no, it was pre-NASA. Uh, he's working in a research lab, and, uh, oh, I can't remember. Dang it, I was just reading about it. Anyway, is is a scientist, right? And he's working with, um, essentially with different types of, of radiation, right? And all these, you know, microwaves and such. And he's coming back from his, his break, and he has a chocolate bar in his pocket. And he walks by a microwave frequency emitter and realizes that without any visible heat to him, that it melts the chocolate bar in his pocket. And with that right there, right? That so eventually uh, he took he took that same basic concept. He took a microwave emitter and he put it basically inside of a box, a metal a metal casing, and that became the microwave oven, right? So it's the it's the little things that are sort of discovered by accident, the things that happen almost by accident. Um, that I think is the best part of history. So if you're ever looking for something interesting. Uh, to read, you know, look, look up, look up, uh, you know, accidental history and stuff like that. I, I think it's, it's, it's awesome for people, uh, to check out. Uh, to be perfectly honest, you'll be amazed some of the things that happen completely by accident. Um, things like Nutella, uh, that happened by a guy, he was a, uh, a chocolatier, right? And he wanted a way, his rations during World War II were running low, so he wanted a way to make his, uh, his chocolate rations last longer. So he mixed them with, so he mixed it with almonds, and Nutella was born. Okay, it's the little things like that. It's the little amazing things that happen in history that no one ever really thinks about, uh, and those are some of the most interesting things uh, to me. So we are almost done with our lava. I tell you what, though, heating it up with this with the torch like this, it really does take a long. All right, and I'm back. A little family stuff to deal with, real quick. Okay, so now that we have our lava bucket and everything, let's make the cobble generator. So let's see, I think the cobble generator looks something like this. So we have cobble all the way across the top, cobble all the way across the bottom, uh, glass in the middle, lava on the right, and water on the left, and that is our cobble generator. We got our water bucket back. Okay. So that we have our cobble generator. Let's see here. We can put our cobble generator sort of running out of room here. Uh, let's put our cobble generator right here. And then every... See, so now there's two in there, so we should be able to click it. Oh, do I have cobble? Okay, so let's let's see here. Okay, so if I see now, I don't have an empty an empty spot. See now it says there's seven. So if I click on it, we get seven. So on and so forth, right? And then every every couple of seconds, it generates another cobblestone. Um, now it does have sort of a limited interior, like interior capacity to it, like interior storage. Um, so at some point we will have to get a um, we'll have to get a hopper running into a chest to sort of collect it for us while we're not here. Um, but now, as you can see, we have essentially infinite cobble, and the cobblestone generator, if I can get it, is upgradable. Okay, so see, so you have uh, tier two which is just your cobble generator surrounded by iron. And then tier 3, which is surrounded by diamond. And tier 4, which is blaze rods. And then the final tier, tier 5, which is emeralds. So it is upgradable so that it produces more and more. So now we have essentially an infinite amount of cobblestone blocks that we can use. Which leads me to sort of my next thing. So in the next episode is what, is what I'll be doing off camera 
is doing some work on our more permanent base options here. So, of course, I've been expanding this wood platform, and this wood platform will stay for a little while, but what I will start working on over in this direction is our sort of is using the cobble to make a more permanent foundation for a base and also starting on our farm. So yeah, uh, this is just a quick little episode to show a couple of mechanics. Um, I didn't have a ton of time to record, but I did have a little bit, and I wanted to show some things. I wanted to show how you make the tools. Um, I wanted to show, you know, let everybody know how you make the crucible, the cobblestone generator, things like that. And the the mob farm, this is extremely important in Skyblock um, to make a mob farm to start getting loot bags and stuff. The mob farm is simple. Okay, it needs to be at least 25 blocks away minus 30, 25 blocks away from your main platform, alright? And then, essentially, you want to come up a block, right? So you want this to be a top slab, so that it's spawnable, okay? And then you go three blocks up and cover the whole thing in so it's dark. The railing is here, just whenever you're building it early on, in case, you know, for whatever reason, a mob spawns on top, or spawns in here, or whatever. It spawns when it's not supposed to spawn. You know, a skeleton can't hit you, or a zombie come up and hit you, and knock you off into the void with all your stuff. Okay? So just a, a quick little, you know, a safety tip there for you uh, from your local Minecraft safety instructor. So yeah, so just some things to think about there. Uh, that's pretty much all that I wanted to cover. So whenever we come back, I will show y'all our more temporary base. We will set up a farm, and then we will really start getting into the more advanced pieces of the, uh, of the map pack, okay? So yeah, I hope that y'all enjoyed today's episode. I would like to thank everybody for the continued support on the channel. Uh, please make sure, you know, you leave it a like, you comment down below, you know, subscribe to the channel if you like my videos. I'd absolutely love it. Um, I do my best to, you know, I reply to every single comment. Um, if it's not the same day you post it, it's at least the next day. Uh, I always make sure to go back through and do that. Uh, so leave me some feedback, you know, let me know what you're thinking. Some things that you'd like to see me make. If there's something that you don't understand and you want to see me do it on camera, please absolutely let me know that. I'd be more than happy to basically do little mini tutorials within my episodes on how to do things. So again, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day, and I will see you all next time.